Hey dolls, hey guys, this is Kiernie and I'm doing a season five episode. I'm gonna briefly do two and I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna fully do episode three. So in the second episode of the Bad Girls Club, Morgan is out. Excuse me for talking on um, fast. Um I only got ten minutes and I don't want to erase my footage from the Trey Songs and the Monica Passion Print Sun that tour because I went to the show. But anyways, Morgan is out the house. Um Kat got into it versus the whole house because she was upset because she felt like if they do it to her, Morgan, they'll do it to her. So she really doesn't trust everyone and then um, Leah, it's Leah's birthday in the second episode and she, everyone's like, let's go out and celebrate your birthday. And Christian is upset because she feels like no one celebrated her birthday, even though her birthday was two days prior to her even arriving to the house. So she's upset. So her and Leah got into a, dis, a dispute and then Erica meets this guy named Jeff and then they, Brandy and Jeff gets into it because Brandy feels like, no, Jeff, I guess Jeff was used to seeing Brandy with you know all glammed up with clothes on and um he's I guess when he saw her with her do-rag on he just was like okay why do you look like that so okay what else happened oh okay so while they're at the club Leah this girl hits Leah and all the girls attack and Erica and I think Danielle was nowhere to be found now I know they I think Danielle was talking to the two new guys she met um because she met them earlier in the um episode and she was talking to one of the guys and the Erica was just nowhere to be found so moving on to the next um episode episode three what happens first in episode three okay the girls go to the tattoo parlors to get tattoos so erica does not want to go with him go with them because brandy called her out in a previous episode and she was like some type of bad girl you are there was a big fight where the hell were you so she didn't i guess she didn't want to go she felt like everybody was fake in the house and you know so everyone gets tattoos brandy gets a bad girl's heart with the, you know the arrow and the little devil horns leah gets some big tattoo on her thigh and her little leg area and i think cat gets one and then Christian gets one and Christian is so funny because her mama cuts her when she told her mother she got a tattoo her mother was like you know what i'm cutting you off so um okay so they go to the club that night this is the cat versus jeff fight they go to the club and jeff was like um Cat, they Jeff was by Cat for some reason, and Cat was like, "You so where's the money for the drinks?" So Jeff was like, "I'm not buying no drinks." So Cat was upset because Cat felt like as a man you should have brought drinks for these women, these beautiful girls, which I kind of disagree because if you have money, buy your own drinks. Be an independent, a new millennium woman, buy your own drinks. But at the same time, I kind of feel her because if he was with Erica, he should have brought Erica a drink. He shouldn't. Cat shouldn't have brought Erica a drink. So they went into the limo and Kat was just talking out the ear. She was like, well, these some gorgeous bitches. He could have brought these girls some drinks. <coughs> Excuse me, and if I was you, I wouldn't give him any, cause he couldn't buy no drinks or anything. So as they got home, I get the anger just built up in Cat, and she just went on, and she literally was about to attack Jeff, and. Erica was just trying to hold them, just separate those two. And I don't think Erica's a true bad girl because Kat tried to spit on Jeff. Kat hit Jeff and Kat was, you know, pushing Jeff and Erica didn't do anything. If you are a real bad girl, you will hit that bitch back for hitting you because you were in the middle and she didn't hit the person who she intended to hit. She hit you. You will spit on that bitch because the person she intended to spit on she missed she spit on you so I just don't think Erica's a bad girl and you wouldn't disrespect 
disrespect my guest. If I, that's just anything. You just wouldn't disrespect my guest. So in that episode, so they fight. The fight was hilarious to me. And the reason I support the cat fight is because Cat says, and this is her quote: "Men know their worth, and as a woman, you should know your worth." So. If a man, if you're with a man and y'all go out to a bar and he doesn't buy you a drink, that, that should say a lot. That says a lot. He won't buy a drink but will allow another female to buy you a drink. That says a lot to me. That says he does not care for you like that. And you can't say he don't have money because why is he in the club if he don't have any money? So, that's that whole thing. So then, okay. Leah gets dumped by her um her married boyfriend. And I think her boyfriend, her real boyfriend, comes there. And there he is so sweet. I really wish that she didn't never cheat on her boyfriend with the married man because my thing is if a married man cheats on his wife, he, he he's gonna do it to you. He's gonna hurt your feelings or he's gonna cheat on you and he ends up breaking up with Leah. So every dog has his day with Leah. That's all I gotta say about that. So, oh yeah, in the midst of Christian, in the midst of Brand, oh, in the midst of Cat and Jeff arguing, Brand is Christian. You need to go get your, go defend your friend. But how could she defend her friend? They're arguing. You don't help no one in an argument. I mean, that doesn't require any help. So, okay, they uh. I lost all respect for Danielle because she totally disrespected Zach because he didn't have no money to buy a bagel. But bitch, you couldn't buy, get your nails done. So the whole reason you met Zach is because you couldn't afford to get your nails done. So you end up going outside to meet men, I guess because that's cheap, that's free. But you can't put anyone else down because you don't have it like that yourself. So I kind of lost respect for her with that. And then towards the end of the episode, Christian gets drunk and it's so hilarious because Christian, like, she just went from happy in the club. Soon as she walked through the door, she was mean and she just w went in on Erica and I think the only reason Erica tried to stand up for herself that time was because she felt Christian was drunk and she would have had the upper hand and then Danielle she decided to jump in and join Erica but I just I don't like that because if you felt that way about Christian you should have been told Christian name and don't wait till she drunk to start talking trash. Wait till she's sober. Just like y'all sober, wait till she's sober. Give her advantage. Give her an advantage. So that's all I got to say about episode three. Um, but if you saw it and you didn't really pay attention to it, listen to Cat's words, ladies. Um, and I'm going to repeat it again. Men know their worth. And as women, you should know your worth. And she also said, hold yourself to higher standards. So don't never settle for less. And hold yourself to higher standards regarding jobs, working, careers, school, relationships, everything. Hold yourself to a higher standard. And until next time, let your praises go up and your blessings will come down.